Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will gonna show how to install Kali Linux 2021.1. So today we get the new version of Kali Linux which is available on the official website of Kali. So first of all you have to download the Kali Linux installer according to your hardware. Now it is also available for Apple M1. Download according to your need. Now the second step is to download the Rufus for creating a bootable USB drive. Here I am using Windows operating system. I have already downloaded both of them. Now connect your USB drive with your computer. Now open the Rufus application. Here you have to select the USB drive which one you want bootable. Now click on select and select your download Kali Linux installer image. Now do not change anything and click on start. Click on yes. Now here you have to select the second option right in DD image mode and click on OK. Now, this application makes your USB bootable. If you want how to make a bootable USB drive in Mac OS and Linux please give a comment below. Now reboot your system and boot your machine from a USB drive. Now Kali Linux installer menu is the first step to install Kali Linux 2021.1. Here you have to select the option, how you want to install your Kali. I choose here graphical install. Now here you have to select the preferred language you want for your system. Now select your location, it is based on the language you selected. Now here you have to select your default keyboard layout. It is detecting the installation media and loading the additional components. Now here you have to enter the hostname for this system. Here if you want to enter your domain name you can otherwise leave it empty. Here set up the full username for this system. Now here set up a username for your account. Now set up a strong password for your Kali Linux users. Now we have to create the partitions here. I am creating the partition manually, so I select the manual option here. Now select your hard disk here. Click on yes, if you get this option here. Now select the free space and click on continue. Create a new partition. Now here set the space you want. Select the primary partition here. If you are using UFE mode you have to create the boot partition otherwise skip this partition. Now again follow the same steps. And here you have to set the size between 4GB to 8GB. And this partition is our swap partition so here you have to select the swap area option. Now our last partition is the root directory partition. Follow the same steps. Now I am using the whole size. Select the primary partition here. Now here file system is the ext4 and mount point is slash. Now our partition is done. Select this option and click on continue. Here verify the partitions information and select the yes option and click on continue. Now it is installing the base system. Now here you have to select the options like which desktop environment you want. The default desktop environment is XFCE I am going with default settings here. Now here installing the selected software. Now here we have to install the grub, so select the yes option and click on continue. Here you have to select the path and click on continue. Now it is installing the grub bootloader in our system. Now our Kali Linux installation is completed. Click on continue to rebooting your system. So that is it. This is the way, how to install Kali Linux on your machine. Thank you for watching this video. And make sure to subscribe my channel, so you don't miss out on my future videos. Thank you very much, see you in next video.